Yo, 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 what up everybody? I'm your boy Best Alu. To my left, Jack N. And welcome to episode 20 of the Tudor World Show. Before I, do, before I do the clap, before I do the clap. 20, 20 episodes, bro. 20 fucking episodes, 20, bro. 20 episodes. Like, wow. It's amazing. How, how the fuck do we make it to 20 episodes? I have no clue. I really have no clue. I don't know how we went 20 episodes without claps. Mm-hmm. You know? And I just hope that we continue getting claps ad-free for the, for the, <laughs> for the rest of the episode. Nah, man. 20 episodes, man. I, mean, I knew it was going to happen. Yeah, well, you I knew we were going to get to 20. It was your vision. I'll give you credit for that. It definitely was your vision. You brought but, uh, your you know, we made it. We made it our vision now. And um, that's it. Now we're going to be talking the same shit when we get to... What's the episode that you was like, I'm probably going to say this on episode 10 and then episode 20. That was probably like ah, episode 3. Cool, <laughs> no, right. and, and now we're finally at episode finally 3. 10. Um, before you start, let me get into the agenda. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I want to get a little personal with this show today. Our last show, we ended it. It was kind of controversial. I had strong opinions on uh, innocent till proven guilty, and I don't think I put my cro- my point across correctly. Mm-hmm. I think I uh, I should have been a little more clear what I was trying to say. Um, we talked about the Me Too movement and about rape in general, and what I was trying to say is that um, when you when you accuse someone of something. Uh, it's not. It shouldn't. An accuser shouldn't always be found guilty, even if ninety five percent of the times they are. You should. That's what we have a, a court for to try the person out. Mm. But someone came forth, a person very close and dear to me, and the example I used was rape, and rape is a very sensitive topic. Of course, yeah. So I, I the innocence of proven guilty. I'll explain it in a second or what I meant by that. Um, but with the rape thing, someone very close to me came to me. I'm going to tell you the story. It's, it's a little crazy. So a, a woman that I know very close to me, mm-hmm. she told me when she was 17, she was raped. Oh, wow. And I didn't know this. Oh, wow. And she said she was raped by her then boyfriend, oh. who was a couple years older than her. And she was so naive that... She didn't know he was using drugs, so later she would find out that he had a cocaine addict. Oh, wow. So the story she told me was he came home one day, or they were hanging out, and he wanted to have sex, and of course they were sexually active, mm-hmm. and he, as he started to become aggressive with her, mm-hmm. and he started to pull her hair and choke her and bite her, and she didn't feel comfortable with it, and he continued. And pretty much he raped her. And this was her boyfriend. Mm. And she, for years, didn't come out with it because she felt ashamed that, and she felt people wouldn't believe her. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it was just a horrible ordeal for her to go through. And, you know, I I had, when I was talking about what I was talking about on episode 19, I wasn't trying to offend anyone that had gone through this rape, uh, anything. And, and I want to apologize if that's how I came across. I was just trying to put awareness for innocence of proven guilty. And the uh, the example I came up was the rape issue. And, I, and that's a very sensitive topic. So I want to apologize to anyone that has gone through rape or uh, anything of that sort. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to apologize to you if I offended you. I, I, that wasn't what my case was. Now, when I said innocent or proven guilty, I'll get, we talked about this whole episode mm. 19. What I meant is, if I'm brought up on charges, like let's say for murder, let's use a different example. I was brought up for murder, right? Mm. And during my murder trial, I, they, the evidence is not conclusive, or they don't have the murder weapon, or my prints aren't on there. But somebody lost their life. I wasn't, I wasn't found guilty. Mm. So should I be stereotyped as a murderer? That, that, so if I wasn't found guilty, am I guilty? That was what I meant when yeah, we yeah, yeah. last time. So that's, that was what I wanted to say. That's another I example. I think our mistake was that we used the... I mean, we could have used a lot of other... 
Yeah, and I, and I, th- the yeah. Across, and I think and we've, we've been a little, we've been a little harsh on this whole Me Too movement and stuff like mm. that. And honestly, I, I I clearly understand the Me Too movement. I want you guys to know this gentleman right here has two sisters raised by his mother for the majority of his life. Mm. I have four sisters raised by my mother the majority of my life. Mm. So I don't want you to ever think that we're not being, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? We're not uh, having sympathy or empathy towards any victim that has gone through any of that stuff. We were just trying to give it a male perspective. But, you know, I apologize if we were out of line in any way. That's not what we're trying to do on this show. Um, so I guess we might... I just think, uh, to add to that, I think what we are trying to do, I, I think the, the vision of the show from the beginning was that we want to bring up um, topics that are not being... That we feel. And we could be wrong. Yeah. Like I said, there's two people, there's two, two, we're just two opinionated people and... You know, the, the fact that we have a camera in front of us and we're making a show doesn't mean that we're right. You know, I just think that, um, you know, what we're trying to do is incite conversation. And, you know, I, I, I'm i kind of happy that, you know, maybe I'm, I, this girl did came out and tell you that because at the same time it is being spoke about. Yeah. And we're learning from this as well. And if you watch this show, you know, you know who you are. Mm-hmm. Thank you for your bravery. Oh, oh dear. And oh, dear. your courageousness to actually come forth and tell me that. Mm-hmm. I want you to know I love you, and mm-hmm. I'm here for you with anything you need. And if I could bring out Vogue J for a second before we end this little segment, mm-hmm. motherfucker, whoever you are, if I ever find out who you are, mm-hmm. if I ever see who you are, you, I'm going to fucking destroy you. You're a fucking piece of shit, oh, and I hope you didn't do this to someone else. You should be castrated as any fucking other piece of shit that decided to touch a woman without her, without her willingness. You're a fucking asshole. You're an animal. You're a fucking disgrace. And I hope that you can't bear children so that you can't bring other people to this world to be as disgraceful as you are. I hope you fucking suffer for the rest of your life. Amen. And that, again, women, my condolences to you and my sympathy goes out to you. Amen. All right. Uh, now that we yeah. got, now wow. that, you know. And I'm, I'm yo, sorry about that. I'm no, sorry definitely. About that. I mean, yo, this is what it's yo, about, someone bro. Someone told me that, that that really bothered me. Listen, I'm talking to you now. And I'm we learning sure. from this, like I said, like I just mentioned, like yo, we learning from this just as much as anybody else is gonna learn from it. And you know, even though our audience is not as big right now, to to say we impact them right now, but I hope that's what it is. Like you just learn from this situation. Maybe you're gonna start looking at things yeah. differently. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. um, you know, yo, it's it's a, it's, a, it's fucked up times. We yeah, you know, it's crazy. crazy it times. made me think of. It made me have a different perspective on the Kobe Bryant and this young lady case. Mm-hmm. I'm, again, I'm not saying Kobe was guilty. But when she talked to me and she pretty much said, I didn't tell anybody because they wouldn't believe me. Or I wouldn't tell anybody because of the embarrassment I felt. Now, if a woman decides to sleep with five guys in the same day and the sixth guy she says no to and he decides to sleep with her because she slept with the other five That's guys, right. you're still a rapist. You're still a piece of shit. Oh, so with the Kobe Bryant case, it was thrown out. I'm not calling him guilty. But I don't know. I, I, it's a touchy subject. But when mm-hmm, she brought it to mm-hmm. me like that, and then I started thinking about it, if if this woman was raped and she's afraid to come out or she thought she was going to lose, like we talked about with all judicial systems, it's mm-hmm. the, it, it, it favors the rich. And clearly he has a shit ton of money. Mm-hmm. Then I can understand why she may not come out. Again, I'm not an expert on this. I'm, I'm speaking to someone who put me in my place. And told me about this. So moving forward, when we talk about things like this, hopefully I can have a little more clarity with what I'm saying, and uh, I don't want to offend anybody else anymore. Oh, thank you for that. Just two opinionated jerks, you know. Thank you for that. Trying to bring it to whatever. But all right, let's uh, let's get into some episode twenty, everybody. Episode twenty, man. Clever, 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 clever. Not ready for that. Definitely wasn't. But I'm happy that young lady found some courage in what we spoke about, and um, you know. Put you in your place. I mean, sometimes I, I need that. Sometimes I, 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 I would think. I think we all do. Like you know, even I mean, I, I kind of learned from that too. Like you know what I mean? Right. And it's like you know that's what it's, that's what it's about. So we're gonna move on though, man. Um, I thank uh, you for watching the show. <laughs> right, you, you watched the show. You had to watch the show. The show we were talking about. So yeah. thank you for being a fan, being a two to one, and we appreciate you. Um, before we start, hold on. Before we start, before we start, shout out to Mike Diddy from Virginia. Episode 19 could have not been a success Thank you, without sir. him. He actually helped me out. Mm-hmm. Mike Diddy from Virginia. Uh, he happens to be my nephew. He's, a, he's my nephew. He's a good kid. Uh, I'm going to... I'll put on his Instagram on the bottom or... You know what? I won't, I'll put on his Instagram on the bottom. And yeah, maybe you guys can go follow him. He's a good kid. And uh, 
you know, cool, thanks cool. again, Mike Diddy. Appreciate it. In case you guys movie. don't know, episode 18 has been released. Episode yeah. 19 has been released. Yo. Um, episode 20, you about to get that now. We're doing that right now. We've been working, man. We've been working. We're working over here, okay. man. We're working over here. And make sure over you over guys here. follow at 221 underscore show, which will be right here. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, man, we're working, bro. We're getting big things. 1300, 1300. Oh my god, okay, yo, these claps it's are gonna keep coming. Day, bro. Hey! You know what I'm gonna do all that ass. But this, well, this is a crab cheese, this is a crab cheese, this is a crab cheese. You know, fortunately, we've been looking for. Guys, 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 guys. I'm just starting to do this engineer stuff, right? Help me out. I need an applause app that I can get without any ads. Help me out, please. I've been looking like crazy, I can't find anything. So, we'll probably preview this on our IG page. When we preview it, we need your help. We're going to call this Help Jack In Find an Applause app Thank without you. any damn commercials, okay? And uh, hopefully it's free, too. <laughs> if it isn't free, we'll pay for it. I'll pay All for right. it, no problem. <laughs> if it's free, it's for me, but I'll pay for it. So how, you know how we start off? What, I'll, set it, I'll set it off. How, did, how was your weekend, man? How was your week? Uh, my week was pretty good, man. Pretty good week. Pretty cool week, man. Um, We did, what, 19 the other day? We just did 19. Thursday, was it? Yeah, so four days. Uh, this will be, be our Wednesday. So four or five days later, we're working on tomorrow. Thursday right? was pretty fun, bro. We had, we had a great yeah, time. Yeah, Thursday bro. was we awesome. Cooking. Bro. We had an awesome time, bro. An enlightening time. Um, uh, just overall from that, I just recovered. You know me, man. I drink, I gotta recover for the next two, three <laughs> days. So I kind of ran and ravished myself a little bit. And yeah. just been recovering, man. Just been recovering, just chilling, man. Uh, yeah. You know, catching up on the shows. 18 came out, so I had to watch that. Yeah, 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 18 man. 18 came out, what, Saturday? Saturday yeah. while you was editing 19? 19, I know. The thing about it is that I hope you guys, again, just so you notice, I'm, I'm the engineer guy now. I'm, I'm trying my best to, mm-hmm. to give you some new stuff and get our vision across. So we're doing this new 2K, uh, not 2K, excuse me, 2 to 1 TV, 2 to 1 cam, 2 to 1 TV. It'll be here. We're mm-hmm. previewing different things. But if you guys get a chance, uh, just see it with a third eye. If you can see how we evolved from episode 18 to 19. Yep. It's like, it's a big thing. No, you want to see Evolve? Go to episode two. <laughs> and see episode 20. <laughs> Wait, but, but it's a different engineer. We can't <coughs> oh, do nah, that. Nah, you nah. know, Risky, Risky did his best, so we're not going to do that. But go to episode, what was my first one? My first one was what, 16, oh, 17? Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm talking about in, ter- in the show period. Oh, uh, yeah, we've evolved. I'm, yeah, I'm we've not talking evolved. about but, like yeah. cameras or tech. And oh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. talking about just like, we, we, we were um, you know? experimenting a lot. But if mm. you want to look at a big change, go to like 16, 17, and yeah. just watch how we gradually oh, yeah. moved in. Oh, yeah. Um, my weekend... I had a scare after episode uh, after episode uh, nineteen. My uh, my 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 beautiful fiance. She suffers from lupus, and uh, oh, wow. she was going through some medical stuff over the weekend. It kind of sucked. So, you know, but you know, she took her, she took her test, and it came out today that she's uh, she didn't have it. She, oh, she came out good. Thank God. So that was fantastic. Saturday, I. Uh, I took a train ride to to Virginia. Mm. That's obviously that's why we were talking about Mike Diddy and how he helped out. Mm. And uh, Sunday I drove back, so I had like a I was like vacation, not vacation. I was just traveling all weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was able to edit the show and stuff like that. And cool, today cool. we're we're here, ready to rock and roll. I was here early for the first time in two to one history. Oh my God! This clothes all over, baby. Clothes all over. So yeah, man. And um, by the way, today is Monday. If the Giants are losing, you probably will know. If the Giants are winning, you probably will know. You'll see what I mean <laughs> if any of the few happens. If the game remains tied, we'll be you good. Talk, was you talking about what the fuck you did to me the other day when I came out of work? So this guy decides he wants think, to hide in the back seat of my car. I think. I think we. Should, all right, guys. Tell, tell no, what no, happened. you guys can see tell it. What happened. Are you gonna put it out? I I think I should have. Nah, he almost crashed, bro. <laughs> No, you scared the shit out of me. I almost cried because you scared the shit out of me. That was very good. Wait, 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 wait show y'all. We'll probably be out before episode 20. We probably, we probably will do that. <laughs> this but, guy's uh, a scumbag. It's nighttime. I'm coming out of work. He decided, I don't even, how the fuck did you get in the car? Because I told you I was coming earlier and you was like, I'm going to leave the door with you. Remember? Watch it. <laughs> oh, you man. like, yo, I'll leave the door and just You want to see Jack and get scared and almost kill Best I Lou? We yeah, almost had the one to one show. Yeah, the one to one. Yeah, we'll put, almost uh, had no engineer. <laughs> we'll, t- we'll put it out soon. I just look into the car. I'm in the bottom. I'm scared of fuck. I'm gonna try, but let's just leave it. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming.
fucking serious? You fucking late again, man. Yo, dick, man, we're gonna record or not? You're supposed to fucking be here already. What the fuck, man? Hello. Yo, you believe this fucking dick again? He's like, he's not here? Who? Fucking Lou, we supposed to record today. He tells me, yo, I'm, I'm gonna meet you, I'm gonna meet you by the job. I'm here, he's not even here. I'm fucking calling him, he's not answering his phone. You think he's on the train? I don't know, baby. Listen, I'm cooking, so you gotta hurry up. I don't know what to it's tell you. This shit that be getting me mad, yo. Yo, if we recording on Thursday, I'm gonna be tight, yo. Who the fuck you doing? Motherfucker! What happened? Her fucking bitch is shit. I'm fucking got in my car, you fucking dick. Uh, so you let's ready, talk man? about first topic. What do we get into? Um, wait, you the one who um brought up today? By the way, at uh ten forty eight, I got the news that you had posted yesterday. Now I don't know if he is actually following us. Uh, unique list told us that uh, what's this guy's name? Uh, blah, blah, blah. The NFL player that oh, um, Ray Caruth. Ray Caruth. Uh, somebody named the real Ray Caruth is following us. No by way. The way. Are you serious? I don't know if it's really him though. So I'm not trying to give him shout outs, but um, it might be. I mean, he was in jail for 19 years. Yeah, so. I mean, we're talking about him, and we we didn't talk about it in a bad fashion. Well, nah. if he is or he isn't, let's talk about the story. Yeah, yeah. And uh. We'll start While you do that yeah, Before we start the story off Anybody who's ever watched Kings of Comedy uh, um, <laughs> Steve Harvey has a great set with him So uh, Ray Carruth was a Carolina Panther wide receiver <clears throat> Who about 18, 19 years ago mm -hmm. Hold on one second Is that This is it supposedly uh, Let's see, let's see Wow, it, it might be him Alright, well either way uh, 18, 19 years ago this gentleman, who at the time can be considered a royal asshole, he decided that he was going. He got someone pregnant during his rookie season. He was actually a pretty good uh, player, mm -hmm. and he decided that he didn't want to have the baby, and the woman refused. She said she wanted to have the baby, so he decided to hire a hitman who attempted to kill this woman, which actually he succeeded because a week after the attempt, she died. And she had to have an emergency, uh, they had an emergency C-section to give birth to the baby. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the baby ended up, because of all the complications, became autistic and was under the care of... Was it put out how he shot her? I'm not sure. I think he shot her. I think the hitman oh, shot so her. so he did die of the complications. Well, she did. I, she okay. did eventually, she of, did. Of his actions. I, I, okay. I, well, okay. I feel stupid for not knowing this. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you could look up the article. I don't know. Whatever. Mm -hmm. But that's not why we brought this up. So, he, so the guy did that. Terrible, horrible, deserves 19 years, My probably deserves life in jail. Probably deserves maybe the death penalty. Um, but our judicial system found him, gave him 20 years, 25 to years, I guess 20 a certain time for parole. Mm -hmm. He did 19 of those years. He was released today. Now, I bring this up because on our last show, we said, is there ever... Are you ever forgiven after you're found guilty from something? We had played the Michelle Beadle clip where she believed that a second chance is not going to jail or for the Ray Wright situation. Watch episode 19. We talked about that. And she said that Michael Vick should never be forgiven. And mm. he should never be able to be around dogs. And he actually was like an activist for the dogs and everything. And he was making awareness of it after he came out. Yeah. And she believes, she still thinks that he should be punished forever. So in, in the whole, let's keep in the whole guilty, are you ever forgiven? This gentleman did that horrible act. And while he was in jail, he said that he would like to have a relationship with his son. Mm. And that he wished his son could forgive him, that he was young. He did something that he fucking regrets. He did something he's probably gonna live with the rest of his life. Now the grandmother says, "Absolutely not. You try to kill, you killed my daughter, and you almost killed my grandson. So I've been taking care of him for eighteen years. Absolutely not. You don't deserve to be around." I bring this up to you because, do you agree with her? Does she? That's he, not her place. But all right. Before you continue, I'm just gonna just give you the bottom line. Okay. He had, he he pretty much got her daughter killed, and the baby almost. Died as well. Copy. Became with the complications. Is now autistic. She's been take. She's been his guardian, mm -hmm. pretty his whole life. Now, what were you saying? You said it's not her place. It's okay. not her place. You still believe that? I still believe that. 
if the kid, for no matter what reason, if that child wants to know who her father, what, what if he asks questions? What if he wants to know oh. why he did it? What if he wants to know what was he thinking? Even though, I mean, we pretty sure all of us know what, what the man was thinking, but what he wants to hear from No, him. actually, I don't know what the fuck he was thinking. He's a multimillionaire. He's in the NFL. He, uh, he This woman is having we a don't, kid. We don't. We, 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 I, 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 I don't know what the fuck uh, he was doing. He's a fucking asshole, but okay, I'm sorry. I don't think that's her place, bro. So you think I respect her. Kudos to you, Grammy. You you know you you kept you, you, you held it down, right? You held it down. You 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 are his legal. Go- you said the the child has yeah, mental th- mental yes, disabilities. He's autistic. I mean, you're a, you're a yeah, parent, yeah, yeah. So, so autistic, I yeah. mean, the kid. He's I eighteen. Know, now. I mean, autism is a spectrum, bro. It could be he could be a high functioning autistic person, um, child. He could be a not so function. So depending on how fun, if he could make his own decisions and he's able to say, "Grandma, I want to see my dad. I want to talk to my dad." I don't think that's her place. Now, if the kid cannot make decisions for himself, yes, she is his legal guardian. Then he's gonna have to eat that and bite that bullet. But it, like I said, it's depending on the. To me, my opinion is depending on the situation. If that kid wants to be in his father's life, if he's able to say, "Yo, I forgive you for killing my mother, and for almost killing me," let's have a relationship. You've been out nineteen years. Who are we to say no? What do you think? Uh I think I'm gonna be a little hypocritical here because I, I, I was, I was when I brought the topic last show. I said. Uh, that we probably should forgive after someone's guilty. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you a question. I mean, go for it. All right, because all right, I, I I know what my mind is thinking, uh-huh. but I'm gonna, I want to try I to get think, you. I think I do too, but God. If I'm the son, mm-hmm. and you killed my mother, and ultimately you killed my mother because you were trying to kill me, mm. it's like, does a kid want to talk to his parent if she tried to have an abortion and the abortion didn't go through? Like, are you gonna want to talk to your mother if she? Try to abort you and it doesn't go through, and then you're born and you're autistic, but she tried to abort you. Would you want to speak to your mother after that? There's some people that were abandoned by their mom in the hospital, left in a, yeah, left in a, I, I in a garbage but, can. But normally, when I mean, normally, I don't know if it, no, that's a bad word. When some, I'm assuming when somebody leaves a kid somewhere, mm-hmm. I think they they didn't. You know what? Someone's gonna find them. Yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong. When they leave them in a the dumpster, I'm assuming they, they don't they're not even paying attention. Okay, yeah. Yeah, but he tried to kill him. He did. I, and and this woman, to to if I could think in her head, you killed my daughter, and you try to kill my grandson, and now you want to be in my grandson's life. So I'm gonna say it from two. I'm gonna give you two two point of views. One, I kind of agree with her because what I just told you. Mm-hmm. Two, I believe in forgiveness. Mm-hmm. You know, even though I'm not a religious person, mm-hmm. uh, my dad was like a pastor, and he passed away. Mm-hmm. Um, and we always had this forgiveness thing with my family. You know, I don't know if... I, I kind of never forget anything, but I, I'll tend to forgive you. I just won't forget. So I don't know if you know if that even makes any sense. Yeah. So if if I'm going to stick with what I was saying last episode, then I would agree with you, but I wouldn't say it's not her place. I would say that, yeah, if the kid wants to see his father, then he should see his father because maybe he needs to look his father in the eye and say, you know, why did you... Why, why didn't you want me? Mm. You were... In the NFL, you were making money. Why didn't you want me? Why? Why would you? Why did you do that? It's not like it's never good to try to kill somebody. But it's not like he was a broke bum in the street, or not. he had a wife and kids, and he didn't want to ruin his family. Not saying that that makes it right. Mm-hmm. But dude, you were in the NFL. You were doing fine for yourself. So, yeah, I, I, in one in one point, I agree with you. I think that. Uh, uh, the question was: Is she right? Right? That was no, the no, no, no. The question is with him. Being that he was found guilty, should he be forgiven? And in being forgiven, should he have a chance to be in his son's life? That's my exact question. You said it wasn't her I mean, place to say to say. Like I said, I, me personally, me personally, I I would not want to see my dad after he tried to kill my mom. I don't either. But it goes. It's all down to the subject, which is him, the child. He's the main important one right now. I don't give a fuck about the grandma. I mean, you know, shout outs to you. Like I said, she hold it down. But right? I don't care. About her opinion because it's dad, it's son and dad. At the end of the day, that's should the we care about his then either? Should he even have an opinion? No. So he wants to uh, see his child see, too. But that's not what you said in the beginning. But now I understand. Should, I guess be the clarity. Yeah. So because see now that I agree with you hundred percent. Mm. If the child doesn't want to see the father, then the father should. That's not his choice neither. There you go. It's not his choice neither. There you go. It's absolutely not his choice neither. So I mean, yeah, to 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 move on. Um, Fucked up situation, bro. Fucked up situation, but, yeah, but I hope they get it together, man. I mean, 
You don't know what that child's been thinking for 18 years. Yeah. I mean, even for you, Ray Carew, we hope you get it together more importantly for your son, man. 18 years, he, 18 years without you. He's been 18 years without his mom. Never had his mom. Hopefully you guys find some clarity. Hopefully that little boy finds some clarity. Hopefully grandma yeah. finds some clarity. What if grandma was telling him, nah, this is like really thinking out of the box, but what if grandma was just telling him that she's the mother? I mean, he's autistic. You know, I'm your mom. And then, and then this, this guy comes it's around. It's not easy raising an autistic child, bro. I, 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 that's, why I'm, that's why I'm asking Aldi, you. Not, you're, you, know, you have the experience. Yeah. I, like, even last week we were talking about the MS, you had the experience, uh. so you could, you could you know, elaborate on it. So, yeah, so I'm saying, what if she, again, I'm thinking out the box, what if uh. she says, I'm your mom, and he never told her about the mom, which I don't think that's going to happen. You want to talk about your daughter. But what if, she, to not confuse the kid, she says, I'm your mom, you know, and then he's raising. And then this guy's coming around, going to confuse the narrative that she built. That's a good question. That's a good question. And she may think that as well. That's true. All right. But and and, and another did, question. She done did him a disservice now, though. It's just society. Because this it's shit society. is about to blow up. Should society forgive him? <laughs> Here we go. Are we going back to this? I'm saying should society, should society forgive If we go by the rules, he paid his dues to society for his crime, which is what has been a, 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 a agreed, agreed upon punishment for whatever he got charged with, what, manslaughter? Not that he got charged with murder. Or, uh, murder cause, yeah, I think Whatever, he, he, he obviously was in good behavior. Came out in 19 years. I think he got off, if you ask me. Yeah, um, I, I think I think the the act that he did, it, 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 you should be killed. Oh, wow. I, I'm sorry. You know, I, yeah. I, I believe, you know, an eye for an eye. What you did, you killed an 18-year-old young lady and almost killed a child, and you're going to jail. I, this is what I said when you're guilty you know what you would kill everybody because yeah. they're guilty so, mm. I think in an act like this he, that's probably, real, that's he, real. he probably should have lost his life or she probably never should have came out of jail so much for believing in forgiveness wow. it, no no I mean he's out of jail now if, if it didn't happen immediately then and he's out now then alright all right. now he's out now let's see what he can do what are you gonna produce for society are you gonna bring awareness to or whatever I don't even know what you bring awareness to awareness of I'm an asshole I, was, I should fucking try to kill yeah. somebody don't ever get the strap I don't I, on your girl <laughs> She has a kid with you. That's not even funny. I'm bet, I'm, that was a real statement, bro. No, you, you said get the strap. How... I was thinking about Fifty Cent. I don't know why. Oh, Just to get the strap with Fifty Cent. All right. Let, <laughs> I, yeah. Then are you still laughing? All right. What's the next time? What's the next time? Get Yo, the, the shit. Best of luck to you guys, man. The all jokes aside, Mr. McCray, Mr. J, Mr. K, whatever. Um, Ray Caroof, Mr. Ray, Caroof, Ray Caroof. Um, best Ray, of luck. Ray. Before we do continue, we do want to give a shout out to a special two to one whose birthday was this Saturday. My man Snoop, baby. Yo. S and double O P D O W G Z. It was his birthday. D O double G Z. Two to one, two to one, man. Two to one. Snoop is a two to one. I think Snoop and Rick Gonzalez are the two most famous people we have following us. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And now you know, even though he's not famous for the right things, if Ray's following us, people know who oh, he is shit, too, right? Word, word, word. That's true. Uh, so whatever. But I'm not shouting him out. I, I, you know, I, I'm not gonna do that. Even yeah, though, yeah. let's see what he brings to society now. Um, he could be a coach, high school. No, I don't think he should ever do. Wow, I'm sounding like her, so I'm <laughs> sounding like uh, Michelle Vino. Shout out to you, nah, sounds like that. Let's keep it moving, guys. Uh, we're gonna keep it moving. I don't know if you um, you might want to pull this up because I don't think we really got to um, research this because we have. By the way, uh, shout out to Zoe who put us in a very, very lethargic mood right now. This oh, show man. that we're bringing to you right now is, is probably the hardest show that we're bringing to you because of the amount of itis that we're going through right now. <laughs> the food that was eaten today. Amazing, just, amazing. The carbs, the, way, the, assumption, so. the assumption of carbs. What, we, what do you want to look up? Um, look up the caravan. I want, I want, I want to um, talk about oh, that. Oh, the this, Guatemalan this caravan, Guatemalan, right? Guatemalan, Honduran, actually. Hondur- well, we're going to call it the Central American Central because we American can't really caravan. put the the, the the you know where the origin right, is well, but well, I know I it's definitely up. from Central America well, I looked that up right we'll looked that up Central America caravan seeks mm-hmm. asylum right is that it yep 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 before we get into that that's our political part let's get into a little bit of fuckery you know I like to talk about the fuckery mm-hmm. what do you think about the Lakers and, and uh, Rockets fight Oh, he puts his finger right in his right in his face, and that's what led to the right. first punch. Right. So, if if, if you want to say who instigated it, obviously Rondo was in his ear, but right there, right there, the first contact was Chris Paul. And <laughs> second contact was yeah. Rondo, without question. And then Paul's going to wind up right there. 
And they and on the other side there is who got a right front row view. Uh oh, uh -oh. Brandon came in. Brandon was yeah, throwing there, punches. There's going to be some suspensions. Oh yeah, Brandon there's, is. Yeah, you throw a punch, you, you there. get suspended. Let's leave the fighting to the fight uh, in the first row. Floyd, Money Mayweather. You got all kinds of Lakers security personnel on the floor helping break it up. I think LeBron's a bitch ass. Oh, we could. I was almost. I was about to say. Yeah. Try to choke down. We not being bleep. We try to think LeBron's. I think LeBron's a punk, bro. I think. Um, did you see on this dude though, Nipsey? Nipsey look like. <laughs> Nipsey was bring, bringing his pants up and everything. Oh, like, Nipsey's about to jump in. Nipsey looked like he was about to jump in that. Uh, well, 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 the Nipsey's a very different from Drake because when the shit happened with Connor, it looked like Drake was about to run. So that, right? <laughs> right? Was that really his face, bro? I don't know. If that was know. his face, bro, <laughs> that was bad. Uh, but all right, let, me, bad. let me give you guys a, a brief thing. Of, yeah, let me give you this too so you can look at it. I, 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 I know about all this. All right, cool. All right, so. Um, the 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 so uh, uh, Ingram had got into, I think, an altercation with. Uh, Brandon Ingram for the Lakers got to altercation with Jim, 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 uh, the beard with Harding. Mm -hmm. He pushes him. That sets off a chain reaction. And Ray John Rondo and Chris Paul get into each other's face. And Ray By John, the way, the memes of that shit, the memes, yeah, they've been hilarious. Uh, but they, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, hilarious. We'll, we'll, we'll have some here that you can see it. Mm -hmm. um, when at first, at first, when you first see it, right, at first sight, Chris Paul looks like Chris Paul hits Rondo first, and yep. then that leads to a chain reaction, and they all fight. And Brandon Ingram, who started it off, comes in and then tries to defend Rondo and hits Rondo. Mm -hmm. And what's, what's crazy about it is LeBron grabs Chris Paul, yeah. who's his man. Now, some people got upset about that because they said that, uh, you know, you're supposed to rock out for your teammate. One thing is to rock out for your teammate. Another thing is that's my man, that's yeah, my yeah. boy, that's my ride or die. I, I, I chill with this yeah. guy, you know what I'm saying? So. I I I'm, I'm, I like I like what Le LeBron did. I respect it. Um, but I'm, what I want to talk about is this dude spit in his face. Yeah. So Chris Paul didn't set it off. This guy spit in Chris Paul's face. Mm. Now, I don't know about you, but I was told the two most disrespectful things you can do to a man is one spit in his face. Is one smack him in his face. Not a punch. A smack. Another man smacks you. Wow. You gotta lose your mind. Number two. Another man spits in your oh, face. You'd rather get punched in your face or smacked in your I'd face? I'd rather get punched in my face because sucker punch, oh, I can, unless he knocks me out. But if a dude just says, yo, shut up, and smacks you. And knocks you out. <laughs> and knocks you out. Oh, nah, well, I really want to fight him after that. I'm, I'm not <laughs> yeah. you, I got to stab you. I got to break a bottle. I got to do something else. God. You slap me and knock me out. I'm a small guy. You know, I'm going to try to hold it down. Yeah. But if you smack me and knock me out, Bro, fight. I don't want to fight you anymore. <laughs> you smack me and knock me out. Imagine a fist. I'll gonna, say like two people while I get knocked out. Yo, sorry. you're going to punch me to another planet. You're going to do a week with the Jason. Yo, yo, Remember whoa, the whoa, Jason whoa, whoa, thing? Whoa, whoa. Oh, right there. I'm Jason punches the guys. I don't, if I find that, I got to find that. I don't real, know real, Jason real. punches the guys. Um, <laughs> all right. He spits in your face. I think that Chris Paul didn't do enough. He didn't spit in my face. I probably got either kicked out of the league or suspended for the rest of the year because I wouldn't stop till I killed this dude. And and, oh, when, yeah, and after the after the game, I'd have been going to the locker room. I'd have been going insane. You spit on my face on live TV, and all I do is give you a little mush. Fuck out of here. Ah yeah, spitting in the. I mean yeah, I've never. I've never spit in nobody's face. And I, I could be a disrespectful person. <coughs> I spit in people's face accidentally with my Daffy Duck. <laughs> 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 I mean, I've never... Like, like, what? I just not even trying to be disrespectful. Like, it's just dis it's disgusting to me, bro. Like, you know what I mean? I, I don't know. Maybe I mean... But yeah, smacking me in my face. Um, I, I, I don't think... I think the worst thing you could tell me is suck my dick with your mother's lip. <laughs> <laughs> Your boy. <laughs> Your boy. I think, I think that's the new, the, new, the new disrespectful thing to do. Well, suck my dick for a long time. Well, that was the most disrespectful thing. Inviting a man to your penis. With your mother's lips, though, is like uh, to the second uh, power. Inviting, a, inviting um, another man inviting you to, to his genitalia to his penis. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that's... that's yeah, but God. with your mother's lips, though. <laughs> <laughs> the mother's lips that's is crazy, OD, bro. The mother's lips is but crazy. Yeah, man, I think they got off good, though. I think they, they didn't get suspended. Though. No, they, well, they got. I think, I think Ingram got four. Yeah. I think Rondo got three. Like, I think Paul got two. Like, 
I mean, nobody nobody lost any teeth. There wasn't no blood. It was just an altercation. You know, in the 80s, you do that, and now you didn't even get suspended. Some of them even stood in the game. Mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm, so I, I don't mm-hmm. know about all that. Again, goes back to what we say about watered-down shit. But if you ask me, I don't think Chris Brown, Chris Brown, I don't think Chris Paul did enough. But whatever. I agree. I agree. I agree. You know what I'm saying? Put me in the face, bro. You know, I, but, you know. I'd be out the league, bro. I might have lost my Jordan contract. I would try to kill this dude. Oh, yeah. I'd have took my sneak off and threw it at him like Cardi. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna kill him, violate it. <laughs> Real quick though, because we did we caught we caught opening uh opening day on Thursday. Who's your favorite? Uh well, you know, all the good teams, they didn't look so great. Mm. Celtics haven't looked that good. Golden State, they always do this where they look they they look whatever and then they turn it up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, you know, it, yeah. it's not about who looks my favorites. I'll tell you this much, my Knicks are looking solid. They've been close in all three games. They have, they have. They I'm, probably could know. have won all three games, but they don't have that closer yet. Tim Hardaway is, is uh, he's solid, but you know, I don't know if he's ready to take that step to All Star. Yeah, yeah. But he's solid. Um, I don't know. LeBron didn't look so great either. So LeBron definitely didn't look good. But we gotta give it a month or two to get yeah. into the league. No team, we do that. two. No team, two. All that. Yeah. Well, well, we might as well just take our sports for a little bit, get this shit out the way. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, before we get to baseball, just breaking news. Amari Cooper just got traded to the Cowboys for a first round pick. Uh, if you guys know anything about football, Amari Cooper was a first. Uh, I think a, I think he went to Oklahoma, or Alabama. I'm not sure. Two time Pro Bowler, 24 years old, from the Raiders. This guy. I just saying that to cut you off real quick. Blessed up just messaged us and he actually made a statement that I kind of like agree with. And he's saying that. Shout out to Blessed Up um, 93. Blessed Up 93. He actually said that the Oakland Raiders might be the Boston South Six of the NFL. Oh, because they're getting all these picks? Huh? Yeah, but uh, Chucky, who John Gruden called him Chucky, yeah, mm-hmm. um, he's breaking that whole team up. You trade Khalil Mack, your best defensive player. Now you trade Cooper, who's arguably your best offensive player. They're in talks of trading the quarterback, so he's just trying to rebuild. But, you know, good luck for the Cowboys and the Cowboy fans. Shout out to, to King Joe. He's, been, nice on our, he's been on our show before. That's a nice look. He loves, he loves, he's a big-time Cowboy fan. Shout out to him. So I know he's probably hype about it. I mean, if, unless they go to the Niners, I really don't give a crap about it. Uh, uh, all right. Um, Niners right now. Well, I want to uh, get it to wait, some wait, 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 hold on. Let's finish our sports thing. Baseball. No, no, that's what I'm going to do. That's shout what I'm out to do. you. Shout out to D. You know, wherever you at. D said that Boston was going to win it. You said mm-hmm. Dodgers going to win it. Of course, I said uh, Astros. It doesn't look like that shit is going to happen, so. So. It is what it is. Who, you, you still got Dodgers? I got the Dodgers. I think the Dodgers pitching staff is amazing, bro. Yeah, Kershaw, Ryu, Bueller. I think there's too many right-handed <laughs> bats to go against. I think I think tomorrow we'll see we'll see the truth because these pitchers that are pitching tomorrow are going to pitch two games this series. Yep. Uh, uh. So that's going to determine. Yeah. I think I think Sale is a better. Oh man, Sale, Sale. He's please. a better pitcher in the playoffs than than uh, Kershaw. Oh, yeah. but, but I mean, if he is injured, if one of them go down, it's going to be hard. So you got to look at the second best pitcher. Who is it? Bueller. David Price. Price and Bueller. Porcello. Second won- best pitcher. You can say it's real. All right, well, then you can say Porcello won a Cy Young. Yeah. All right, well, hopefully we see a good... Boston's well, pitch is that. No, I'm, what about what you said earlier what? about the money-wise? Uh, with the Dodgers? The both of them. The oh, top, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is about the first time, I think, in a very long time that the top uh, spending teams are in the... The top yeah. three, at least. So I don't want to say... I Definitely top three. I know. It has yeah. to be, I don't know. I know the Yankees are somewhere in between there. I don't know. If Giants, one, Giants two are somewhere in there, too. But if I would guess, if I would guess, I would say Dodgers are one and Boston's three. That yeah, would be remember, my yeah. guess. Because I think the Yankees picked up Staten and they got McCutcheon late in the season. And he that, had a big contract that probably too. blew them up. All right, so uh, enough with baseball. No, let's stay on baseball real quick because okay. I did want to bring this up with you. Sorry to cut you off. Oh, with the Dodgers thing? The Dodgers are actually being investigated by the <laughs> FBI at the moment. And I want to do this real quick. The evidence that persuaded the U.S. Department of Justice to investigate is the MLB recruitment of foreign players. I want, I'm want. i going to get off of this real quick. I just want to say this. Let's just say that it has to do with human smuggling, dubious immigration documents, middlemen skilled at working around immigration laws, tales of bribes, and all kind of other shady business that the Dodgers have been doing. They're doing this just to recruit players? Mainly from Cuba. Well, they got, who they got? Pui, Pui. right? They got a couple of people in their minors as well that are from Cuba, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, what the fuck is in those cigars, bro? 
They so, produce a lot of good fucking players. So aside from being the aside from being the top spenders in the MLB, they're also the top gangsters. <laughs> so that's another reason why I really really like the Dodgers. And for the gangsters, because, you know, I, for the gangsters, I, I'm on that shit. Let's do our first. That's it. Shout out to the Dodgers. So the Dodgers got the arms, the bats, and the guns. <laughs> I guess. So yeah, bro, that's it. That's it. That's it. I just wanted to bring that up in case the two to ones don't know. If y'all want to look more into that, y'all could definitely look more, look more into that. But that's it with sports. Today's Monday Night Football: Giants against the uh, Atlanta Falcons. I do think that the Giants are gonna win. I'm only saying that because I'm a Giants fan, yeah, and I'm using nah. Jack Ends Reverse Magic. Yeah, <laughs> and I really don't give a f- shit about so, one of them. Let's get into this caravan thing that I think is um. You guys are actually gonna find this very interesting. I know um a lot of people don't like listening to politics, but we currently have what could be a crisis on our hands at the moment, and we're gonna get um a little more into it. But at the moment, to give you the exact numbers, there is a total of seven thousand immigrants from Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador. Let's just say they're from Central America. Okay, they're making their way up from Central America. They are currently right now in Mexico. They're in the southern border of Mexico. And they are attempting to uh, come inside the United States illegally. A lot of them are trying to seek asylum, but um, at the same time... But why so blatantly? That's like, What happened to secrecy? What happened to the tunnels? What happened to coming over on ships, coming over on planes? What? They're like just being gangster with it. That, that's the thing. That's the thing. Like, you know, I'm all for immigration, bro. Obviously, this I'm, is the country I'm, of I'm Hispanic. I'm Hispanic. I'm Hispanic, bro. Well, unless you're a Native American, everybody in here is a damn immigrant. Exactly. So uh, it's like I, too, so. I'm for immigration. I'm, yeah. I, I am for immigration. I do think our, our immigration laws do need to get revised. I think uh, there's a lot of loopholes that people do get around. There's a lot of abuse. I mean, that's I mean, this is the abuse of the system is rampant. It's all over. But just to give you um some, uh, Donald Trump did uh through his favorite way of communicating with the people of the United States, Twitter, um has um, clout. Has a uh, release of statements, and I'm just gonna read them off real quick. We'll, can, can, uh, can we read them with the? Can we get them with the with the with the Trump voice? You want the Trump voice? Can we do it with the Trump? All right, voice? I got you. I got you. So go ahead. So let me get the Donald Trump so voice. Yo, yo, the, how the fuck did? Oh, I ain't even got. <laughs> but um, uh, here we go. You ready? This was his first statement. This was 12 hours ago. He goes, sadly as it looks, Mexico's <laughs> police and military are unable to stop the caravan heading to the southern border of the United States. Criminals and unknown middle. Easterners are mixed in. I have alerted Border Patrol and military that this is a national emergency. Must change laws. My man Donald Trump is not playing. Why build a wall when you got a fucking army? We got uh, Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador were not able to do the job of stopping people from leaving their country and coming illegally to the U.S. We will now begin cutting off and substantially reducing... Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, it's, It's a lot. It's a lot. Um, um... Substantially reducing massive foreign aid, get. routinely give, retu- uh, re- <laughs> routinely given to them, and then the last one he put. Every time you see a caravan or people, and this is the one I want to talk about. Every time you see a caravan or people illegally coming or attempted to come into our country illegally, think of and blame Democrats for not giving us the votes to change our pathetic immigration laws. Remember, the midterms are unfair. So, this is where um, I get upset with Donnie Cloud. I'm all for immigration, man. I, I don't, I, I, you know, we, we talk about him mm-hmm. and, you know, the last show and the show with Kanye, we were indifferent to him. I don't mm-hmm. think we said we were supporting him. We just said we weren't not, we were not, we weren't not supporting him. Mm. But I am definitely against this immigration, this whole immigration thing. What do you think about this caravan thing, though? It shit is, I, I just think they're gangster for it. Like, they're not even hiding it and they're just trying to come in here, like, whatever. I think he has to be a little more discreet, Is this guys. a national emergency? No. I wow. mean, there's Middle Easterners in there. You know what, man? Not every Middle <laughs> Easterner is blowing things up or whatever. And that's like. The, what are they doing coming in from Central America? Bro, you think there's not uh, uh, Orientals in Central America? You think there's not uh, uh, Africans in Central America? Not in that caravan. I don't know. You don't know that. We're not, we're not in the caravan with them. So, of course, you want to scare the. Uh, you want to scare the U.S. Uh, public, you say, yeah, there's Middle Easterners in there, or there's uh, mm. guys from Afghan in there, or, or there's ISIS people in there, and people are going to lose their mind. They're going to be shook. I don't know. I, I don't think, all right, um, like I said, I'm for as well. But how I, are they getting in? So they're doing these caravans, but how are they actually getting in? That's the thing. I mean, I don't know. I, 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 I'm because then I, I think that they should be searched and how everyone else is, and they should follow the same protocol. 
But if he knows that they're coming to these caravans, then how and where are they getting in? That's what confuses me. I guess uh, that's a great question. That's a great question. Look, I'm, I'm all for immigration as well. I'm for legal immigration. Um, I think the illegal immigration is getting out of control. Um, you got to sit and think about where we, we right now are a country that's running on debt. We don't have the resources that even we think we got. Yeah, I know. China kind of owns us, man. China, uh, every a lot of people. Own we us. owe they, oh, we yeah. they, we owe them so much money, you know. I, and people, I think like the, uh-huh. uh, I think that in, in in general the world, the reason that we're allowed to still function is through faith. Mm-hmm. So I mean, people have faith in our dollar, faith in what we are capable of doing, but shit, we are definitely owe a lot of people. Um, listen, let me tell you something. Uh, if we, if we, yo, listen, mm. if you take away a limit illegal immigration, you know, well, you know, ten thousand dollars to marry a baddie from DR, bro, like that's gonna go oh, out the window, man. man. I don't know what's the talk. You, know, no, you make the immigration harder. That number go up. Yeah, like forty. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. you still get to, you know, do what you want. Hey, mommy, tú necesitas papeles. Yo estoy jodido, mommy. Hey, we got time. Yo estoy jodido, mommy. I need you to do some translations on the bottom. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing my shot. Estoy jodido. Yo estoy buscando una dominicana, una colombiana, cualquier cosa, pero estoy jodido. Yo necesito que sea 20, 20 mil pesos <laughs> para que yo te pueda sacar los papeles. Y yo no quiero decirle en inglés porque está Trump por aquí. <laughs> Y no me estás por el culo a los dos. Oíste, so vamos, vamos aquí, vamos a, a hacer algo. Si tú tienes 40, no importa. Si tú no una What? doña, una doña. What? Yo lo que quiero una doña, que. What? que una doña. <laughs> ¿Qué carajo te pasa? Que tú no sabes lo que es una doña. That's my going rate. 20,000. For, for some And papers. we are not going to translate, you know, he's he shooting a shot. So yeah. you never know. Yeah. But yeah, you know. So back, no, no. Back, back, to, back to the part. Immigration, are we, we just, now we're getting into the deficit. The deficit just came out as well. Are, are we uh, added? To our debt, our debt continues. Uh, our debt. Uh, yeah, I don't want to yeah, the debt and all that shit. That's too much for me. Now you get it too is, political, wait, bro. It, it, it's too political. But what I'm saying is that these immigrants are only gonna add to our to our debt. Uh, now you get too you get in the yeah, end. If want you to legally, hey, time out. Oh, we're gonna get into if you can legally, if you get them, make them legal citizens, then you can tax them. Then they can work and they can contribute to the country the right way. Uh, I, I uh, okay. I, again, I. I it's, one of those slippery slopes that yeah, I, don't yeah. like to, I, don't like, I, I don't like to walk that he path. He works in Queens. He's surrounded by... Um, Actually, you know, not even as a joke. I do. I, I work probably in the most diverse community there is in the United States. Makes we have, a lot of sense. There's everything there. So I'm constantly surrounded with immigration. And mm-hmm. it doesn't bother me. But again, I don't know. The only thing that bothers me about immigrants, that are illegal immigrants, is that they could commit a crime and go back to their country. So they could come stab somebody, come rape somebody, and leave, and, and, and nobody would ever know. So that's the only thing that bothers yeah. me about illegal immigration. Mm-hmm. Besides that, I'm, I'm for whatever. So yeah, man. <clears throat> All right, nah, let's get our last opinions on this caravan thing, though. What do you think about it? You, you, are you, I think they're gangsters. You... Hell, they're not even hiding it. So you're not, you're not worried about it? Uh, yeah. You I, live I, in New York City. You're not worried about... You know how to 7,000, if two of them are bad, that could lead to 3,000 people dying. That's what do you mean like bombs and shit like that? Of course. Yeah, but if I live on the field, then I would never take the subway or anything like that. Because yeah. mm-hmm. the, the, the easiest thing to hit would probably be something like that. So of course. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm be honest, with you, I'm not. not I, I don't. It doesn't bother me at all. Uh, me, a person that comes uh, from Manhattan and usually takes a train at five o'clock to come do the show, uh, rush hour. <laughs> I am extremely concerned with those Middle Easterners in the caravans <laughs> right now working their way through Mexico. Uh, I don't want, I, I'm not for it. I think they should uh, come into the United States the right way. I know plenty of immigrants who have came into this country the right way. I know plenty of immigrants who have uh, applied to become citizens and are Americans now because of this, uh, you know, because of the, the beautiful laws of this country. Uh, I think the caravanners are a whole different thing. Now, where I think where Trump fucks up at is where he tried to um, raise awareness on this. He made it a political issue and blamed it on Democrats. I think, Dem- I don't think Democrats, Democrats, let's get 7,000 people from Central America. Let's send them straight uh, you, up the border. You, you, you just got me stuck Right up their ass. Just, like, I just literally got caught in the daydream thinking about that. I don't know, okay. You know what I mean? So, so yeah, that was our political thing. But, um, yeah, man, I just wanted to talk about that. I thought that was something that our, our audience should be, right? <laughs> What's the next topic, guys? Uh, well, the next topic. We're going to get to our next topic here, man. Um, What was it? What else we talked about? Oh, shit. That was it. All right. Well, guys, we gave you two shows back-to-back. 
This one is on a shorter week because we recorded on mm-hmm. a Thursday. Mm-hmm. Uh, next week we'll record again on a Monday. Uh-huh. You know, overall, hopefully we'll have better topics. Uh, again, I'll repeat, like I said in the beginning of the show, if I offended anybody with episode 19 or my thoughts of Me Too and the rape, yep. I apologize. Um, and you know, it was great. Wonderful. Another show wanna, in the books. I don't know Anything who that... you want to say? Uh, Any closing statements? Yeah, yeah. I don't know who that young lady is. I don't want to know who that young lady is personally. I do want to say, though, thank you for um, being so courageous. Real talk. Um... That's something that not not because I have daughters or sisters. That's something I hope no female, nobody in general, male or male, female, yeah, because you know, we'll have to, male, we'll have to, you know, yeah, we'll have to, you know, yeah, we'll have to go through. Um, I admire you. Um, I, I thank you for I, I'm not putting us in our place by educating us because awareness, that's, everything is you know, awareness, bro. exactly. And um, you know, I hope one day you could really, really find the courage and um, you know, you know, give your story to 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 other people one day and, and find it in you. To like not necessarily get in front of a camera or something, or make you know share share it with more people. You can find that courage, and you know maybe you can find you know find find some liberation in that as well. I pray for you. Um, I wish you nothing but the best. And um, once again, thank you for that. And um, you know that that's the reason why we do this. Yeah. You know, that's I, the whole reason why we do. I'll this. finish it by saying, uh, thank you for talking to me about it. Thank you. I feel uh, inspired, or and I feel really appreciated that you would even consider. Uh, expressing that mm. sentiment and that horrible experience that you went through. Mm. Again, I love you. Mm-hmm. You know who you are. I'm here for you whenever you need me. Uh, thanks again. I guess that's... Well, I, 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 before we do leave, ladies and gentlemen, um, to the one show as we are constantly trying to evolve, we are constantly going to continue evolving. Due to what happened in episode 19 and then the following events, we are currently looking into getting more female opinions. So, yes, 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 yes. What am I saying by that is, at the moment, um, we're only two testosterone-filled men. Can I suggest something? Go, go for it. Women that watch the show, why don't you leave us a message on our email, the two-to-one show at gmail, that's T H E. The number two, T O, the number, the letter one, the one, scrap me the word one at Gmail. I will be posting this somewhere in the screen here so you know. Send us emails mm-hmm. if you want to speak. Uh, we're going to start this segment where you actually can call in uh, or we'll call you rather because I don't want everybody to have my number, even though my number is on Instagram. So, yep. uh, and then maybe you can speak on the show about topics that are sensitive like that, mm-hmm. referring to women. Obviously, you know, if we could have another woman. Guest or host, man, feel free, and we'll love to have you on the show. But yeah, we, we, your opinion matters on our show. I mean, everyone matters. That's what awareness is. What's key in this world right now, and if we can bring awareness to other people, then we actually met one of our goals. One of our mm-hmm. goals in doing this yep, was yep. awareness. Another one was, of course, entertainment. You know, laughter, comedy. You know, so yep. hopefully we'll, we'll get across that. Uh, on that note. Boca me la bomba. Boca me la bomba. Just forgot about that. All right. Check in. Let's do it. Bucamara Bomba! Now, this is a segment that we are going to have when we are going through things. In New York City, we are going through something. New York City, I said we're going through something. We are losing the war. What I'm talking about. I, I don't know what you're you don't know about. what I'm talking Educate about. Me. We got rats the size of cats, and they don't go squeak squeak. They go brrrr. Went to my house the other day. The rat didn't say squeak. He said it's fucking Treyway. These rats don't play all day. You got bread in your house? That shit they gonna take. Piece of rat. Project rats. Cat rat. Right here, as you can see, this rat got into a fight with a cat. I'm gonna send you the footage for that. 
So before we do go, we gotta do something about this New York City. And that's this segment of Buka la Bomba! Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching episode 20. I am your boy, Bet Stylu. To my left is our engineer, Mr. Jackhead. Make sure you go to our Instagram page, 221 underscore show. Visit us at our YouTube page. Hit the notification bell. Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down, comment, say you like it, or tell us to go fuck ourselves. Peace, episode 20. <laughs>